So in this question, we've got 25 centimetres cubed of a 0.125 mole per litre sodium hydroxide solution. And it was exactly neutralised by 24.4 centimetres cubed of our sulfuric acid. Part A to the question wants us to calculate the concentration of the sulfuric acid. So down here, we're going to write in our formula about what we are trying to work out. We are wanting to work out C. C is equal to N over V. The volume that we've been given in the question is 24.4. We need to divide that by 1,000 to pop it into litres. So that gives us 0.0244 litres. To complete this question, we need to work out the number of moles, which means we have to look at our mole ratio. The mole ratio from the balanced equation is we've got 1 to 2. To work out the number of moles that I actually have, I need to work out the number of moles that actually reacted with my sodium hydroxide. So in this section here, we've got N is equal to C times V. The concentration we've been given as 0.125 moles per litre times by the volume, 25, but we divide it by 1,000 to pop it into litres. 25 divided by 1,000 times by 0.125 gives us the number of moles as 3.125 times 10 to the minus 3. This is the number of moles that actually reacted. So we need to quantify it here and scale down. So we put 3.125 times 10 to the minus 3. And what we're going to do is we're going to cross multiply to scale that. That means that working on this side would be 1 times 3.125 times 10 to the minus 3. And we divide it by 2. So if I pop divide by 2 into my calculator, that tells me that the number of moles that actually reacted was 1.5625 times 10 to the minus 3. That's the number of moles that actually reacted. I want to pop that in here, 1.5625 times 10 to the minus 3. I divide it by the, num uh, the volume that I've already got, so I divide by 0 0.0244. And that now gives me the concentration as 0 0.064 moles per litre. Part B to this question wants us to express this concentration that we've worked out in grams per litre. So for us to recognise what we're doing, what we need to do is firstly identify how the units came about. Concentration is equal to number of moles over volume. We measure moles, unit is mole and the volume as litres. That's like expressing that as mole L to the minus one when we bring this up. The unit that they want us to work in is G L to the minus one, which tells us that we must have had grams over litres. What unit do we measure in grams? Will we measure mass? We know that all we're trying to do is they're both per litre. So we're trying to convert from moles to mass. And to do that, we do M is equal to N times GFM. The number of moles we've got is 0 0.064 times by the gram formula mass of our sulfuric acid. So we've got 2 plus 32.1 plus 64. And that gives us a GFM of 98.1. I'll times that by 0 0.064. And that gives me... 6.2784 grams per litre. And what we want to do is probably take that down to 6.28 grams per litre. So in this equation, we've got arsenic acids and the formula is given as H3ASO4, which is a triprotic acid. That means it's got three hydrogens in the formula. 25 centimetres cubed of this acid solution required 35.7 centimetres cubed of 0.1 mole per litre sodium hydroxide solution for a complete reaction. Part A to this question wants us to calculate the concentration of the 
arsenic acid in moles per litre. So the first thing we have to do is we have to look at the balanced equation and take down our entities. So we've got our acid here and we have got 3 NaOH. We then want to do the mole ratio. So we have got one mole of our acid to three moles of our uh, sodium hydroxide. The question wants us to calculate concentration. Concentration is equal to number of moles over volume. The volume of acid, which we've been given in the question, is 25. So we do 25 divided by 1,000 to pop it into litres. And that comes in at 0 0.025. So to complete this question, we need to calculate the number of moles, which is related to the mole ratio, which means that we need to calculate the number of moles of sodium hydroxide that was used in the titration. So we've got number of moles is equal to C times V. The concentration we were given is 0 0.1 times by the volume, which was 35.7. And we would divide that by 1,000 to put that into litres. So we've got 35.7 divided by 1,000 equals times by 0 0.1 and that comes in at 3.57 times 10 to the minus 3. That's the number of moles that actually reacted. We pop this underneath here for our mole ratio, 3.57 times 10 to the minus 3 and we're going to cross multiply. So our math on this side is going to be 1 times 3.57 times 10 to the minus 3 divided by 3. So we'll divide that by 3, and that comes in at 1.19 times 10 to the minus 3 moles. That's what we actually have reacted. We substitute that in here, 1.19 times 10 to the minus 3. Divide that by 0 0.025, and the concentration comes in at 0 0.0476 moles per liter. The second part to this question wants us to express this concentration from part A in grams per liter. So we have to kind of use our units to understand what we need to do to be able to convert from moles per liter into grams per liter. So concentration is equal to N over V. The unit that we work in moles uh, is mole over the volume, which is in liter. So that is why we have mole L to the minus 1. That's how we get that unit. Over here, if we know that the unit we want to work in is G L to the minus 1, that means that we've got grams over litres. We know that we've got the same number of litres on either side because we're just converting, which means that we're going to have to work out grams. Grams is associated with mass. So we have to calculate the mass so we can put it into this formula here. Mass is equal to number of moles times the GFM. The number of moles we'd already worked out from the mole ratio, which is 0 0.0476 moles in one litre. So that doesn't change. That's from part A. We then have to work out the GFM of the acid. So arsenic is 74.9 plus 64 for the four oxygens plus three for the three hydrogens. And that gives us a GFM of 141.9. We times that by the concentration or the number of moles. And that gives us 6.75444 grams per litre. And what we would want to do is we want to round that to 6.75 grams per litre. So that is our final answer here.